what's your favorite all-time sneaker? Like, how, how bad is your sneaker collection, number one? I just want all supers now, but I, I like, I'm more, I like dressy up shoes. I like Gucci's and, you know, Louis, the uh, Common Projects. Like, I'm into, like, fashionable shoes when I do buy, like, other type of shoes. But my all-time favorite is the Jordan 1. The Jordan, the first Jordan? Jordan. All-time favorite. Really? Yeah. You, you got a pair at home? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super ain't gonna like that, but yeah. <laughs> so are you wearing your shoe right now? Yeah, these are some supers. Well, this ain't my actual. Um, oh, so that's not your. This just another um, shoe off the brand, off the line. Okay. Yeah. So, and, but you have your own super shoe. Yeah, got two. I got the um, TK Society that came out, which was the high top one with the two straps, and then we just dropped the low top, which is more of a price point affordable shoe for um, skate kids. What? How involved were you in the making of this shoe? Oh, 100 percent, top yeah. to bottom. That's what I love about skateboarding, man, because it, it helped me even learn how to have a swag. Because with the skateboarding, it's such an individual sport to where, like, you know, if you ride, if you want to wear tight jeans, you wear tight jeans. You want to baggy jeans, you wear baggy. So, like, it taught me to have style. So, every skateboarder is always hands on because this is stuff you got to skate in, you got to be comfortable in and wear. So, you got to be hands on with it, you know. And so, so, what made you design the shoe the way it was? Like, well, like what were the kind of the key points that you were trying to do? You know, when you had, because it's like, yo, this is gonna be my shoe. True. Obviously, this was this was very important at the time. You yeah. Know? And the first thing that I did do was, um, when I did come out, I was like, dude, this one thing I didn't, um, I swagger jack from Jordan, ankle front. I just wanted to come out with a shoe that was super expensive. And that first shoe I had dropped on Super was the first um, skate shoe that was like 180 bucks or something, 170 mm. bucks. And I was just like, dude, I got to, just because like. I always said to myself, if I ever had the position on making a shoe and putting it out, I would want to do it like Jordan because it, it's just like, to me, them his shoes, it, the time of the essence, it's, and they never get old. By the style and by how much they cost, it can never get old. And I just thought like I wanted to make something a time of the essence. So no matter what, if it's ten years from now, five years from now, you still view it and look at it the same because the qualities are so up to par and it's worth it. So if you spend 180 bucks, like some Gucci's. They don't run, you, you buy some Gucci shoes, they don't tear down that fast. Right. They take a long, because they use good quality leathers, good quality soles on them. Yeah, the so, is real dense. Exactly. Yeah. So I wanted to do that with my super shoe. And that's what we had did with the first one. And um, I was excited. And I actually copied it from a YSL. Um, oh, really? Yeah. From a YSL shoe? From a YSL shoe. So YSL had like a high top? High top at the time. But they just didn't have no straps. So it was, um, I had a long tongue on them, I remember. They had a long tongue. Uh -huh. um, it was super like... I, probably like above the ankle, mid top, and I just I bit the style of the tongue and um the, the height of the shoe, and I just you know I just like dude we gotta put some straps on it and just dance with it you know put a good vulcanized sole on it put some good suede leathers you know and went wow. from there. The hundred eighty dollars, Jerry Kennedy, <laughs> and it did well. Yeah, <laughs> it did well. I would, we wouldn't thought in a million years because no skate shoe has ever been that expensive. You None. Remember, you remember how much how many it sold or any. And we we, we sold out. I mean, we yeah. sold out, but we had every. I mean, I, I, dude, everybody was wearing them. Justin Bieber, Puffy, <laughs> everybody. So I mean, I could take the credit, but they as well. They helped enhance the shoe as well, you know. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a shoe that related to everyone, no matter if you skated or not. I want everybody to feel like you know what I could put this on and feel comfortable with wearing it, you know. And that's what it did. So it was a blessing.